Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Play Canvas. In this tutorial we'll be looking at entities and we'll also be looking at materials. Um, so in the last tutorial I talked about entities a little bit. Basically everything in Play Canvas in your game is made up from entities. So entities are things like different 3D shapes like boxes, cylinders, spears and things like lights, cameras, and sounds in your game as well. So they're all entities. Um, and entities can have different properties and they can also have assets. So assets, which are shown down here in this panel, can be applied to different entities. Assets include things like scripts with code that will control the game, control different um, entities, and things like materials as well. So you can give your assets, like you can give a box a color, or a texture, so that those assets can be applied to different entities. And that's what we'll be doing in this tutorial. So firstly, what I wanna do here is I've got an empty world here. I've got a, um, a new scene and it's untitled. So I'm gonna click on the scene name there and I'm gonna change it from untitled. I'm gonna give it a name and just call it level, level one. Okay, so I've got a new scene here. It's called level one. All right, and I want to give it a, um, a floor or a ground. So I'm gonna make a ground that all of the objects, characters, different things in my world will be on the ground. So you could have a character walking on the ground. And I'm going to use a box to make the ground. So up here, I'm gonna click on add entity. I'm gonna add a box entity. And the box, I'm gonna stretch it out on the X and Z axes. Um, to make it nice and flat. So I could either do that by grabbing this blue handle and pulling that out or the red handle and pulling that out to stretch this box out or I could just go down to scale next to X, I can change that to a bigger number like 30 and Z, I can make that a bigger number as well. Change that to 30. So now it's just a flat ground. Okay, I'll just zoom out by scrolling out and we can see the box there is it's, um, a nice flat ground now. Okay, and so that's going to become the ground of this world. What I also need to do is I need to move the camera. So at the moment, the camera is in the middle of the scene. It's actually um, inside the box there. So I'm just going to click with my left mouse, just um, move around and hold down shift and click as well, just to pan. And so I'm gonna grab this camera and I'm gonna move it this way. And you can see these white lines here and that indicates the direction that the camera is pointing and what it can actually see. So it's field of view. So the camera's here and it's pointing over this way. And so it's gonna see all of this area here. So we need to move it back a bit and probably up a little bit as well so it can see the ground. Okay, what we can actually do now is we can play this scene, which will open it up in a new tab. And we can have a look at what um, this scene looks like so far from the camera view in the game. All right, so that's what it looks like. So we can see the ground here. We can't see all of it, but we can see the ground here and then just the rest of the empty world behind it. One little trick with Play Canvas, something that you can do in your browser, is you can click and grab the tab in your browser and just drag it off there so it becomes a new window. And you could resize that or move it over and snap it to the right-hand side of the screen. And then with the editor, you can minimize these tabs temporarily. So you can see your scene in full view. And we could drag that to the right. So now we have the editor over here and we have the player over here. Any changes that we make in the editor will update in the player. So we can see the changes happening live. So if I drag this rectangle or this box up, you can see it moves up in the scene as well. I'll just undo that. Um, I'll grab the camera and what I'll do is I'll move the camera, oops, move the camera back a little bit and I might move it down a bit, maybe up a little bit. Okay, there we go. So now I'll just maximize that player. There we go. So we can see most of the rectangle or the, the ground there, the rectangular prism, the ground, 
we can see most of it there and the empty world behind it. Okay, just bring that editor back to full screen, bring back my hierarchy and the assets panel and the inspector panel and we're back to normal. All right, so that's just a little trick that you can um, view your changes in your game live as you're making those changes. Next thing that we'll do is we'll give this um, box a material. So materials can um, be used to give an object some color. So we could make this box green, for example, to make it look like um, it's just the, the ground with grass on it. But we could also give it a texture as well. So we could use an image or like a grass pattern to make it look a little bit more realistic. So um, what we can do, firstly, we can um, find an image that we can use for grass. So I've Googled grass repeat. Um, you could also Google something like grass tile or grass texture repeating background, something like that. Um, and there's a whole heap of images that you can find. I'm going to use this one here. The key is to look for ones that are repeating patterns or tiled patterns. So um, that the pattern just kind of repeats over the whole shape um, seamlessly. So I'm going to use this one. I've already downloaded it. And so what you can actually do is grab the image that you've downloaded and drag it into the assets panel and it will upload uh, that image into your assets folder. Okay, so it's just uploading now. And there it is, grassrepeat.jpg. Okay, I'm going to grab the box model. And where it says material, I'm going to add a new material to there. So firstly, I need to create a material. So in my assets panel, I can click on add asset and then material. And I'm going to call this material ground. So Next to name, I'm going to say ground. Okay. I'm going to go back to the box and I'm going to drag the ground material over here where it says material and it's currently empty. So I'm going to drag it onto there. And now this box has the ground material applied to it, but we need to give this ground material some properties. So either a color or a texture. All right. If we click on the ground material and scroll down, click on diffuse, and there's lots of other different properties there that we can work with. We can change how shiny it is or um, how bumpy it is, but I'm going to click on diffuse. Now you can either give it a color, so I could click on the color there and I could grab a green color, and now we can see that the material is green, but it's also been applied to this entity, the box, as well. So now that's green. Now we've got a green ground there, that's fine. But what we could do instead is apply a texture to it, this one here. So I'm going to click on the ground material, I'm going to go to diffuse and this box here is where I'm going to drag this image. I'm going to click and drag that grass repeat image onto there. Um, and actually I need to um, Yep, that's worked. So now if we zoom in, you can see that it changed. It just took a few seconds to update, but there we go. All right, so we've got a grass pattern there on the ground. Okay, and you could do the same with like a, a rocky pattern if you wanted to have rocks there or if you wanted to have water, um, you could use different textures there for that as well. So we've got a ground here. It's got a grass texture applied to it. Um, which looks okay, could probably use a higher quality image, but there you go. All right, now what we could also do is select the camera and we could change the background of the camera so where it says clear color. We could pick something like black and we won't actually see it here in the editor, but if we go and play this scene, we should have a ground that it has grass on it and we should have a black background. Later on in one of the next tutorials, we'll look at how to have a sky background with sun and we'll look at how to add lighting as well to the scene. But that's what we've got so far. And that's all that we'll do for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.